my faith, uh, I've been very lucky, I've been born into faith, and I go back to when my parents had their golden wedding anniversary. My brother was making a speech and he said, and he wanted to thank my parents for the best gift that he could ever receive from them, it was passing on the faith. I actually share that gift, and to me, faith really is actually my rock. It is where I go when times of need, times of thanksgiving. It is for my family, which I'm very lucky to have a son and a daughter who are both happily married, and with children who also believe in the faith. And I think in the modern world, with all its many problems, where would we go? What would we do if we didn't actually have that faith? And here in Chagford, we're so lucky to have the little Catholic church here, which is well respected in the community, and to have you, Father, as our priest. And we are so grateful to you for everything you do and how you support us. So thank you so much for that. Um, faith has always been a very important part of my life. I was born into a Catholic family, brought up as a Catholic, went to a convent boarding school where faith was just a part of everything. And it wasn't until I left the boarding school really and went out into the real world that I began to question things. At school, you weren't allowed to question. Um, and in all the questions I asked, I kept coming back to thinking, well, oh, my faith sees me through this. And it has done so in all my career, uh, possibly because I taught in a Catholic school, but in the bringing up of my family. And although I married um, a non-Catholic, a Christian non-Catholic who supported me a lot, my faith became stronger and stronger. And when I came to Oakhampton, it was lovely because everybody was so welcoming, particularly in the church. And you were just absorbed in a bit like a, an extended family. And in the last few years, particularly, um, it's been hard because uh, my husband was diagnosed with cancer. And when it became terminal, and he knew it was terminal, I was also diagnosed with cancer and had to have my hips replaced. But it was the parish community, apart from my own family, but the parish community in Oakhampton that saw me through that. And it is really, well, my extended family. I'm almost embarrassed because so many other people do things. Um, I've, I've been chuffed, I suppose, by the amount of people that have come up to me and said, you really deserve that. But quite honestly, I do it because I enjoy it. And I think Father Darley needs looking after anyway. Um, but he's, he's very popular and people want to do things for him. And we want to do things for each other. So it's just lovely and I'm very honoured. Thank you. I feel my faith is something which has grown from childhood, from coming to church with my mum and mum, and my dad being an influence on me going to church. And in that way, I felt I got to know Jesus more. And through that, throughout the years of going to church, I feel my faith has grown through my, fa through my family. My family was a great influence on me, obtaining faith, growing in faith to get to know to Jesus and as I've grown older I've learnt that really the Holy Spirit is probably the most important thing in my life. Now, being in the parish for the last 56 years I feel that really ever since I was born into the parish I feel that Oak Hampton has very bit, always been part of my faith. Um, the fact the way the people have treated me in the parish um, over the years the wonderful people I've met in the parish their faith their fuel has grown on me. I feel, I feel very honoured, and I feel very honoured. I feel more honoured for the fact that it's all the young people, Father, who I've tried to support throughout the years. I feel, um, I feel very touched by the parish and by the by the diocese in, in rewarding me this medal, and I feel very honoured. Thank you. I like to think that I try to practice my faith through my music ministry. I've always been involved in church music and 
I like to think that I enable other people in their devotions by um, training the choir, providing organ music. The music we do in church should be the very best that we can make it. Um, this I do by helping choir and music group to prepare in a suitable way and they are very, very lovely to work with and I certainly wouldn't like to be doing that on my own. We are a happy musical family. I feel very humbled to receive a medal as I couldn't earn a medal on my own. Other people have worked very well with me and uh, I, I am very, very touched and humbled to receive the medal.